Hey guys, it's Lurch, and this week I want to talk about the new documentary called Mystify. It's the story of the late in excess singer Michael Hutchins. And while watching it, I, I think I, I learned a lot about myself while watching it simply because I realized I maybe knew more about Michael Hutchins and in excess than I realized I did. But the way the documentary is set up, I think it is. It's a real love letter to fans, and there weren't a ton of surprises around every corner. Um, the story being that, you know, Michael came from Australia and formed the band, and they had massive success almost right out of the gate, and he was one of the most charismatic front people of a band. But what the filmmaker tries to imply is, isn't it weird that somebody who's so shy and soft-spoken and anxious could command a stage in front of thousands of people and I'm thinking no that doesn't surprise me at all in fact that seems to be the norm for whatever reason but the success of the band went over the period of the late 80s into the 90s and the interesting part of this documentary is it's Michael's story and obviously the the filmmaker chose not to make it the band story because the band is not really interviewed too terribly much about it but there was a lot of home video footage and extra stuff which oddly enough all is shot like a Calvin Klein perfume commercial I don't know anybody else's home movies who look like that but uh, maybe her Brits was shooting it it talks about a lot of the very famous and powerful women that he was involved with Kylie Minogue and Helena Christensen and there's a part where I guess maybe this is the surprise to some people but uh, at some point he got into a fight with a cab driver who knocked him out on the sidewalk and he hit his head and the lasting result was that he had lost complete sense of smell and taste and that would be horrific and but as they kept saying you know for somebody that was just this sort of decadent grabbing life by the you know not having sense of smell and taste really depressed him of course he was taking some drugs here and there as well um, but I think more importantly what you get out of this documentary the sad part for me is that he was a guy that was completely terrified to be alone um, he began a relationship with Polly Yates who was a, a TV personality in England who also was married to Bob Geldof and that just added a lot of extra drama because he, uh, Michael Hutchins and Paul Yates had a child. Bob Geldof was trying to get complete custody of the child because Paul Yates had her own drug problems. But it was just one of these, you know, stories in which somebody rise to this meteoric height and then maybe just feels alone even when there's a million people around him adoring him. The one part, and I won't tell you specifically, but it absolutely made me go, Oh, is that an award show in England? Michael Hutchins is giving the best new band award to Oasis. And Noel Gallagher says one of the most cutting, horrible things to Michael Hutchins in front of this room. And clearly, Noel Gallagher was just being Noel Gallagher, but knowing the state of mind Michael Hutchins was in, it's not good. But anyway, the, the documentary is definitely worthwhile. It's like you said, I think it's really for the fans and you might not learn a ton of new things about who he was. And interestingly enough, at the very end, uh, because if you remember his death, there was some shroud of mystery about was it a suicide? Was it an overdose? Was it the uh, erotic asphyxiation? They don't touch that. It just ends with him passing away. So, by uh, spoiler alert. The documentary is called Mystify. It's the story of Michael Hutchins. And you can see the film as part of the Sound Unseen Film Festival on November 17th at 2.30 at the Parkway Theatre in Minneapolis.